Audio is arguably one of the most important aspects of pretty much the whole entire video. So it's very it's very important that you have good quality audio. And uh, I've gotten a lot of comments on my channel of all the mic reviews of how I edit my audio. So I'm using the Fifine K669 here and I'm going to be demonstrating how I go about editing my audio. So here we go. So I use Audacity, which is an open source software, free link down in the description for you to download. I have Audacity 2.3.3, which might be a little different for you if you get a newer one. So it's pretty easy to set up, put in the mics and stuff that you want, and then simply hit record. So uh, this is a demonstration of the Fifine K669. Uh, I'm going to be editing this audio to see what it can sound like in the end. I got like a bunch of background noise. Um, it's, it'll be good. Okay, so there is our clip of audio. You can actually see it's quite low. Um, that's because the mic is decently far away from my face. Anyway, first thing I do is in the effects, a noise reduction. So if we just zoom in, I'm holding in control and zooming in with my mouse wheel, we can find this little area. Now if we hit play. Now you can hear a little bit of the background noise because the, uh, the fans and stuff were running. So what I can do is go to effect, go down to noise reduction, get noise profile, and now we zoom the hoy out and hit Control A to select the whole entire clip. So pretty much we took a small sample of uh, a place where the audio levels were quite low and then we're going to apply that to the whole entire clip. Next come down to noise reduction, then hit OK and it will automatically do it. Now my computer's pretty fast so it instantly did it. And so now... So uh, this is a demonstration of the 5 K669. Uh, I'm gonna be... Now to the actual editing, it's good that the everything is uh, the background noise is gone. Control A once again to select the whole entire clip. Now we're going to go up to the tools and under macros. Now you have this thing called apply macros, which I have one called video audio edit. And so to create a macro, you first must go into the macro to create it. We go into macro, we're going to click new, and we're just going to give the name of, I don't know, new edit audio. So now we're going to go insert. So now in here, we're going to go to the Fs and we're going to find filter curve. Click that, edit parameters. That looks good, that's exactly what we want. And essentially this will kind of bass boost our voice to make us sound way much older than we actually are. Um, my voice isn't naturally this low, but because I've already edited this clip, you probably won't even notice a difference maybe. Anyway, now we go to insert and we want to find the normalize. So do N and then find normalize. Normalize, there's one. And then we want to insert a compressor. All right, there it is, compressor. And then one more normalize after that to, well, simply normalize the whole entire audio clip. Do I understand the scientific thing with the audio? No, but do I know how to create these? Yes, and does it sound good afterwards? I guess, I don't know. So then once that, we are going to hit OK. Now that macro is now under your, your tools, so you can go to apply macro. We have the whole entire clip still selected, and I'm going to go new edit audio which is I don't know why I named it that and boom it happens so fast now the longer you clip is the more time it's going to take obviously but now that this is done we can give it a listen so uh, this is a demonstration of the 5 K669 uh, I'm gonna be editing this audio to see what it can sound like in the end I so I don't know if you noticed halfway through the clip uh, the air conditioning kind of kicked on and it was a lot of background a lot of background noise and uh, you know, you don't really want that, so maybe I should have grabbed like a sample of the clip with the uh, noise reduction in the in the back instead of the front because there's now a low rumble in the last half of my voice edit. The only thing you really have to worry about is the noise reduction first, finding that little spot that you want to take and then apply it to the whole entire audio clip. But other than that, then it's just apply the macro. Um, I usually just deal with the, the levels of the audio in Premiere Pro, the editing software, and then all I do with you is once I'm done, export, export, boom, give it a name, one, 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 and done. That's it. And then that's pretty much all there is to it. And you can move that in. I usually save it as a uh, dot .wav file. So that's, that's how I do it. And that's how I edit my audio. In like all my mic reviews, that's how I edit it. So um, yeah, many, actually a couple people only asked me. And so I just thought I'd make this quick video for you. So there you go. That's how I edit my audio. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope this helped. If you have any questions, anything like that. I know Audacity is newer in the, if I leave it down in the description, but it's pretty much the same thing, hopefully. Um, thank you very much for watching and maybe I'll see you in the next one.